Hey, Moon Babes. Back by popular demand, it's another Moon video. So, I just recently have discovered all this stuff. I'm a Christian lady. I haven't really ever even known about this stuff. I was Googling one day, like, because I had bad anxiety, like how to relieve stress, and this stuff came up, like, about <clears throat> the full moon, how it gives you like the jitters and stuff and I was like that's interesting and like I click the next link and the next link and before you know I've came up with all this stuff to do so it was pretty fun but if you watched my last video I did a goth get ready with me and I told you that you had to come see this video if you wanted to see my dress so this is my dress it's just a really long black lace dress it comes down past my feet but you can't really see it so here is my gothed up dress. It's got these little things on the arms. I love this dress. I got this in a kill. I did this in a kill star haul. It's a kill star dress, of course. What else would it be? So let me move it out of the way before I rip it and come back to you. Okay, so I took a few notes because I'm not gonna remember all this stuff just like I did in the full moon video. So the moon coming up in the new moon. I'm having a hard time, y'all. Jeez, oh, okay. The new moon coming up is going to be an Aquarius moon. It is going to be, I'm giving y'all, making y'all seasick, I bet. It's going to be on February 11th at 1.21 p.m. Eastern time. So, even if you can't see it, it's there. Um, so, I took some notes about what the Aquarius moon means because the only astrological thing I know anything about is Gemini because that's what I am. So, reading up on this stuff is kind of interesting. I don't really follow astrology or anything, but it's just interesting. So, the Aquarius moon is quirky, humanitarian, and independent. Sounds like me. <laughs> but I'm a Gemini, so it's interesting. So this moon is supposed to be like, um, to inspire those qualities in you somehow. And so of course the new moon phases, it's completely dark. You can't see it. So if you go out at night to see it, you can't see it anyway. So it's really hard to find. Um, you can use an app on your phone. To find it I don't remember the name of the app sorry it's like solar system app or no snow starfinder it's starfinder and you just shoot it up at the sky and it'll tell you where it is and then you can zoom in and like with your eyes and be able to tell that there's a circle there but anyway there's also some eclipses this year I didn't write those down but I will do I'm gonna do an eclipse video too so anyway what you're supposed to do in the new moon is like to get rid of stuff, like to get rid of negative energies and ground yourself. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. So first, try to figure out what makes you unique and share it with the world. That's one thing that the um, Aquarius moon is said to like inspire, like uniqueness, I guess the quirkiness about you and share that with the world. Next, create new healthy habits. Everybody should do that. If you didn't see my green juice drink review um, that I posted yesterday, actually, you could see that and um, that stuff would be a great way to incorporate something healthy into your diet. All right, next is ground yourself. So the way to ground yourself and I wrote it down, and my sister actually does this too. Um, she was telling me about it, and I was like, okay. And so I looked it up when I got home, and it's pretty interesting. So how to ground yourself. You wanna be outdoors, find a comfy spot, take off your shoes, unless your feet touch the earth. They're supposed to touch the earth, cause like it's grounding, like the ground. You're supposed to, your feet are supposed to touch the ground and you allow yourself to connect 
with the natural flow of nature and the energy and electrons from the earth. So that's cool. It's like supposed to help you center yourself and relax yourself and some of the negative energy goes from you into the ground, like grounding yourself and freeing yourself of that anxiety and stress that we all carry, no matter who you are, you carry something, sadly. And then it says, um, activities such as gardening and swimming or other methods to ground your energy also while having fun. Because this moon is quirky, so you want to have fun on this moon. Crystals, the, I, I talked about crystals last time too, like putting them outside to charge them, but I didn't know anything about the crystals that went with um, the new moon with the full moon but I did look up the crystals that went with the new moon they're supposed to like make you be healthier help you sleep better and just give you overall positive energy it's smoky quartz hematite black tourmaline black onyx shungite obsidian jet and tiger's eye so I have some of those actually I have the little rock rock a little stone collection and crystal collection that I've had for a while let's see and then what you do with those stones is you carry them around with you during the day put them near your bedside at night um, you can put them under the new moon just like you could put any other crystals under the full moon and then another way is guided meditation can help you to ground yourself like go I'm um, type into YouTube or Google on um, guided meditation on grounding yourself and stuff will come up and just listen to the video and do what it says and you can ground yourself and comment below if you try this and it works um, I haven't tried it yet because it's freezing outside <laughs> I don't want to go outside I don't at all especially barefoot but I may try it if it's a warm day on this next new moon and you can do that anytime it just relates to the new moon because you're it's about purging bad energy so the next one is grounding yourself takes away stress anxiety irritability anger and other negative feelings so who doesn't want to get rid of that crap right it just carries around like just a weight on your shoulders so this moon the new moon is all about cleansing and releasing negative energy like i said so what you can do is you can kind of have a self-talk it's always good to have self-talk and do self affirmations look in the mirror um, and talk to yourself you're not crazy it's just like affirming yourself and making yourself have a positive body image and a positive mental health and a positive mental outlook on life it's good to do so um you can ask yourself what have i released so what thing what negative emotions have you been able to release either by grounding yourself or meditating or just taking a nice hot bath with some sea salt and some rose petals or a bath bomb and maybe some candles just that little extra bath that's all nice and flowery that us girls like and some guys like a nice bath have you seen the episode of friends where chandler starts taking a bath all the time he's always in monica's bath he like steals it one time after she had it ready it's funny anyway and then ask yourself where am i now on your journey i guess your journey in life or your your journey to get rid of those negative emotions and then what is emerging within me what is emerging within me? What is coming out of me? Or what's inside of me that's about to come out? What feelings are, are emerging? What do I wish to grow? What do I wish to grow? So like, how do you want to grow? How do you want to develop mentally? Is there some goals you have? Is there some goal that you have? Or is there, is there something that you want to do? and then what are your intentions and how can you bring those goals and intentions to fruition so like what's your plan to to bring those things that you want into your life how are you going to get there and then the next one is what resources do you have available to help you get there so you can talk to yourself about these things or you can journal these 
You can um, also release your negative feelings and write about the positives. You can do a gratitude journal. I have my gratitude journal right here. I actually made sure I brought it up here. It's me and my baby. This, this is like two years ago. She was little. And I write in it every day. And I made, out of one of my little notebooks that I use for my YouTube stuff, I made this little sheet of like a idea that you could use for um, a gratitude journal. It's I just did it in quadrants. And the top quadrant says, what am I most thankful for today and why? Like specifically today, because if you do what are you thankful for, then every day is gonna be the same. And the second one says, how can I show my appreciation for it? And I made this on my own. I'm so creative. What are my positive thoughts today? And then, what are my most positive, what are my positive traits? So, it can be daily, what's your trait daily? Just list like, you know, one or two things. That way, every day you have something new to write. Or even if you just have two or three things that you're really, really, you know, like you're really honest or you're really, really nice, you're a really good person, write that every day. Because you're just reaffirming yourself that you are awesome which you should do every day. So let's see, we talked about taking a bath, clear yourself and your space of clutter. So like, clear your negative energy, we talked about that, and then clean your junk out, like do some spring cleaning and get everything out. The new moon is like about new beginnings, so you can get all your stuff out um, that you don't use anymore. My rule is if I haven't worn it in the past 10 years, I need to get rid of it. And I have that rule because I always end up wanting something that I get rid of. So I say 10 years, most people say like a year or two, but mine is a decade. <laughs> it's really hard for me to get rid of stuff, but I do. Next is, this is the weird part that I found. Did you know that the different phases of the moon can affect different body parts? So the body parts affected by this moon will be the organs, will be the organ, the body parts influenced, sorry, by the Aquarius new moon are the Achilles heel, the calf, the ankle, and the shin. So those really aren't organs. It called them organs influenced by the Aquarius new moon, but those aren't really organs. Those are like parts of the body, right? Skin is an organ, but like a shin is not an organ. That's a body part. So anyway, got... This last little part here, um, I think that's all. I think that's all my notes. But the last little part is, um, there were some questions that came up about my religion somehow. I don't know why. I guess it was just maybe people were curious. I guess um, because I have black clothes and talk about the moon and said the word ritual a few times in my last moon video. Um, I am a Southern Baptist Christian. I was raised that way. I grew up in church. I went to a Christian college, so that is my religion. If you are curious, that is it. Um, you know, you don't have to be a devil worshiper or any kind of bad thing if you want to wear black all the time and, you know, do your room in black. That's okay. People can have black as a, you know, a color that they like. I've always liked black. My mom loves black. We just, I just idolized my mom and, you know, went through my goth stage in high school and then it just, part of it kind of stuck with me and I just love black clothes. They make you look skinnier. <laughs> so I think that's all I have on the new moon, guys. Um, but if you didn't see my get ready with me, watch it. It's kind of funny watching me try to put this makeup on, on while talking it's just funny but it's a little more extra gothy than usual but I know I have gone all out with my white contacts and stuff and done some kill star hauls and that's always fun but I just thought I would do these eyebrows are the main difference they're like whoa goth eyebrows and I put on a really pale really pale powder so if you want to watch that, go for it and watch that video. Um, but anyway, guys, February 11th, 1, 21 p.m. would be the time to try to like 
do some meditation or something, whatever you want to do. Just relax, get rid of negative thoughts, do some spring cleaning. Get some of those crystals. People swear by those crystals. They swear that they help them sleep better, that they have, um, like, their back hurts less or they have less, fewer headaches. It's weird. I don't understand the chemical properties of them and how they work how the electrons align with our bodies, but something about it obviously works because there's this whole world of crystals that people are into. And it's it's just everyday people. It's, it's everyday people. It's not, you know, just people that are witches and Satan worshipers and whatever else is out there. It's just normal people just trying to be healthy. And there's this whole niche of people that love crystals so and stones. So try some, you never know, they might just help take your stress away and they're really cheap. You can get them on eBay, you can get them, you can just Google crystals. I'm sure there's crystal shops that most cities have a crystal shop in them. I think we have two or three here in my city. So just go get you some of those crystals. I'll type up each one in the description so that you will know which ones to get for the new moon. And these are the ones that are really supposed to absorb negative energy because you want to get rid of negative energy anyway. So if you sleep with them beside your bed every night, maybe that will help you in some way. I hope it does because everybody deserves to be happy. All right, guys, that's all I have. I'm getting ready to film a Killstar haul real quick. So if I look the same, it is because I wanted to go ahead and shoot and this is what I look like today. <laughs> all right, guys. Remember, stay you, stay awesome, and stay amazing. Bye.